Chapter 8. Then Bildad the Shuhite replied to Job, How long will you go on like this? Your words are a blustering wind. Does God twist justice? Does the Almighty twist what is right? Your children obviously sinned against him, so their punishment was well deserved. But if you pray to God and seek the favor of the Almighty, if you are pure and live with complete integrity, he will rise up and restore your happy home. And though you started with little, you will end with much. Just ask the former generation. Pay attention to the experience of our ancestors. For we were born but yesterday and know so little. Our days on earth are as transient as a shadow. But those who came before us will teach you. They will teach you from the wisdom of former generations. Can papyrus reeds grow where there is no marsh? Can bulrushes flourish where there is no water? While they are still flowering, not ready to be cut, they begin to wither. Such is the fate of all who forget God. The hope of the godless comes to nothing. Everything they count on will collapse. They are leaning on a spider web. They cling to their home for security, but it won't last. They try to hold it fast, but it will not endure. The godless seems so strong, like a lush plant growing in the sunshine, its branches spreading across the garden, its roots grow down through a pile of rocks to hold it firm. But when it is uprooted, it isn't even mist. That is the end of its life and others spring up from the earth to replace it. But look, God will not reject a person of integrity, nor will he make evildoers prosper. He will yet fill your mouth with laughter and your lips with shouts of joy. Those who hate you will be clothed with shame, and the tent of the wicked will be destroyed.